I'm <laughs> Noah Galvin. I play uh, Jer in Yosemite. Welcome to the dressing room at the Rattlestick Theater. It's a little bit difficult. It's a little tricky. I mm -hmm. luckily go to a school um, called the Professional Performing Arts School, which sort of mm -hmm. um, caters to kids in my situation. So they make it easy for me to you know, go to school until 3.30 every day and then have plenty mm -hmm. of time to leave and go to my show. Or if I'm in a rehearsal, they, you know, they make it easy for me to leave and make up the work if necessary. I really, really enjoyed it. I don't think I've ever really worked on a brand new play like this, a play that has like mm -hmm. never been produced and is being written as, uh, as we're in the rehearsal process. And for me, uh, playing a character that doesn't have a lot of lines or doesn't speak a lot, um, it was really cool for me to basically have the freedom to write my part. Not completely, mm -hmm. of course, but um, I definitely had the freedom to ad lib and interject at times when, you know, it might not have been written on the page, but mm -hmm. I felt like I needed to speak at that point. Um, and the creative team was totally totally fine with that and it was it was really cool to be able to completely create this character from the ground up. Daniel took us up to this house up at Lake Lucille in Nyack mm -hmm. and it was like the greatest cast bonding experience I've ever I've ever gotten to be a part of. Um, mm -hmm. We would stay up until like three in the morning just like sharing stories and being together like huddled around a fire and it's wow. like you never get to do that in, like, New York City with a, like, 18, mm -hmm. <laughs> like, a cast of 18, uh, which was really cool to be able to have these three other actors to just, like, share everything with. Uh, after a tech rehearsal, we got up at, like, 10, ate, ate dinner, and it was, like, midnight, and Daniel turned to all of us, and he was like, let's do an exercise. And we were like, oh, God. And we, like, went outside in the, like, 18-degree weather, Ugh. and he told us that we had to start the play once we felt like it needed to be started. The first line of the play is, my feet are numb. And mm -hmm. so he told us that we weren't allowed to start the play until our feet were numb. Mm -hmm. There's also a dead cat in the yard that we buried, Yosemite style. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> it's been great. Everybody here is so nice. And so, uh, it's a very, you know, small company. And it's a... It seems like a tight-knit family, that everybody's sort of on your side, everybody's on board with you, which is nice. Daniel Talbot and I have something in common, which is we love mm. hilarious YouTube videos, <laughs> and we will email each other YouTube videos constantly, um, mm -hmm. and he had a favorite during the rehearsal process called Take Your Time, Tasia, where two, um... <laughs> Two <laughs> older African American women go to see Fantasia Barino's last performance of *The Color Purple*, uh -huh. and they are just fearless and are totally willing to just shout at her at the top of their lungs and tell her, to, you know, take your time, Tasia. Don't don't rush your performance. <laughs> it's a highlight of the rehearsal process for me.